Hi guys and welcome to today's video. My name is Melissa Joyce. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today we are going to be talking about a product that I received in my July Ipsy subscription and that is this lychee and gold blush from the company Seraphin Botanicals. I had not heard of this company before. I've not received anything from this company before and I have been using this for a few weeks now, two weeks or so. Uh, so I thought this would be a good time to sit down and talk about this product. As I usually do, I'm going to talk a little bit about the company, not a whole lot, uh, a bit about the product, and then I'm going to put it on my cheeks as I have no blush on right now, and then give you my thoughts on this product. If you want to jump ahead to another part of the video, I will put timestamps down below so that you can do that. And now let's start talking about Seraphin Botanicals. There is not going to be a lot for me to say because I couldn't find a lot of information about this company. I couldn't even find when it launched um, for a couple of reasons. There's just not a lot of information out there on them other than some reviews Woo. <laughs> other than some reviews of their products, and they have put a number of their products into subscription boxes before. Um, but also there's other companies with the name Seraphin in it, so it's just harder to narrow it down and find information about them when it's a fairly common name. They definitely have a point of view. Basically what they are doing is making cruelty-free vegan products. Uh, everything that they produce is vegan, and they go even deeper than that as well. So specifically, they make vegan, cruelty-free, botanically infused cosmetics made from nutritious, organic, fairer trade ingredients sourced sustainably and responsibly. So it sort of seems like you have a few different layers if you are somebody looking for um, makeup that is good to people, good to animals, and good to the earth. <laughs> so um, cruelty-free is something that a lot of brands are doing now. I know there's some big exceptions with the ones that are major companies. Basically, if you sell makeup in China, I believe it, it, it has to be tested on animals. Um, so if companies want to access that market, they they are not cruelty free. Um, but you have cruelty free, uh, you then have vegan products which, which can be more difficult to make because certain colors like red, um, you often use a dye or a product that's derived from um, insects. And then you have sort of sustainable and everything else. What's interesting about this is not only do they make sure that all their products are vegan, so if you are a vegan uh, and you want to make sure you're getting vegan products, you can rest assured that everything they make is vegan. They also talk about being fair trade, which means that they ensure that when they are buying products from around the world, that they are done in a way where people are getting paid fairly for what they're producing. And then they also talk about being sustainable sort of through their suppliers as well. So it takes it that much deeper when somebody is actually looking through the whole value chain of their product to find out that it is being made in the most sustainable way possible. Um, as far as organic goes, that's also something that some people look out for. I think it's kind of funny they say nutritious. You're not absorbing nutrients through your face, um, at least not in the same way that like you would think of nutritious in your body. Um, but if you are somebody for who vegan, cruelty-free, sustainably produced products are is important to you, then this may be a brand you want to look at. They do not have a full range of products. They have, um, well, they have one hair care item, but it's basically a sea salt spray. They have some skincare products, but not a whole line. I don't think they have any cleansers. They seem to have like body butters and moisturizers, things like that. Um, as far as cosmetics go, they have uh, some cosmetics, but not full lines. So you're not going to find, as far as I saw, like foundations and powders, things that you really need to match shade ranges with. You're going to find things like blushes, um, bronzers, lip products, lip glosses, things like that. So while you're not going to be able to go and buy necessarily all of your makeup there, it could be a good option to look at if you're looking to buy one or two things to fit into your cruelty-free vegan makeup. As far as prices go, they are up there. You're sort of looking at the $18 to $25 American range for a lip product. Their eye pencils are about $22 American, and if you want a full eyeshadow palette, it's going to be just a little over $50 American. Uh, so the prices are up there. They are sort of Sephora level pricing. Another interesting thing about this company is that not only do they create their own line of products, but they also um, will create products for you if you want to have a vegan cruelty free makeup line. So we talk sometimes about private label companies um, and 
which makeup brands are actually produced by private label companies so that the products are actually the same even though they're under other names. This company does do private label, so there may be other products out there uh, that are the same formulation, things like that as Seraphim Botanicals, but packaged under another name. This product is the Lychee and Gold Healthy Glow Rose Gold Blush with ginger, lychee, mangosteen, and chamomile extracts. There are three shades of this blush. This one is sort of the brightest pink. There is also a um, ginger and gold, a mangosteen and gold, and I think a lychee and gold, uh, which are sort of different tones of it. They do describe it as a multi-dimensional versatile blush with micro gold frosting to create a subtle shimmering flush, specifically designed to flatter all skin tones with just the right balance of color and light. It says you can use it on its own or over a matte blush to give it a bit more shine. This is the full size of the product. It is uh, three grams, I believe. This will set you back for $14 American. I'm not sure if I said this before, but if you do order from their website and you order more than $50 American, you do get free shipping within the US. So this is the color and the packaging. And as I said, this is full size. It is this sort of pretty pinkish gold color. And I will insert some swatches here so you can see this color next to some other blushes in my collection. So here are some swatches of the lychee and gold blush against some other blushes. So this one right here is the lychee and gold that we're talking about today. This one next to it is the So Susan blush and glow that we received in a previous Ipsy subscription. And you can see that it's not nearly as pink. This one is quite similar. And this is the Manicadar Paradise blush that we also got in a previous um, subscription bag from Ipsy. This one is the Hot Mama um, from the Bomb Blush, which again is quite similar. I do find this one has more of a sheen to it than the one we're discussing today, the Lychee and Gold. And then finally, this one's quite different, but this is my old standby. This is the Milani Berry Amore Blush. So now that we've talked about the product, let's get into putting it on my cheeks. I'm just going to use this crown brush here. Uh, I do find that you can see it picks up the color quite nicely. And again, I forgot to bring a mirror in here, so I'm just going to do this in the viewfinder. And you can see that sort of nice pink with a little bit of gold undertones to it color. It is pigmented, but not so pigmented that it's crazy. Uh, but you do, you know, get enough in sort of one swipe in to give yourself a nice rosy glow. So my thoughts on this is I do think this is a beautiful color. I'm not sure how I feel about the packaging. I would sort of prefer if it just opened up and stayed together so that you didn't have this top that you were screwing on, but then it does feel like it's secure on there, which is nice. I feel like I put on a little bit too much blush, but that's okay. I think this is a pretty summer color. I think it is very flattering, at least on my skin tone, and it's that nice kind of satin finish to it where it gives you a little bit of light and glow to your face, but it doesn't seem to highlight texture in any way. That's sometimes my problem with blushes that are more on the highlight side, is I do have pores, I have bumps on my face, things like that, and I find if it's a really highlighty kind of blush, it emphasizes that, but I don't find that this does. I find if I'm doing a low makeup or, you know, very natural kind of look. I wouldn't put this amount of it on that I have on right now, but this ends up looking very natural and just, as I said, gives a nice glow. Would I repurchase this? I think I possibly would. Um, it's, you know, going to be about $20 Canadian for this product um, when you do the conversion from $14 American. So it's a little above drugstore, but not too, too bad. It's not a huge amount you get in here, but it's also not often that you go through blush. So I don't mind that. Um, I do think that this is really going to make a difference if you are somebody who is shopping for cruelty-free and vegan products because this is a nice blush that gives a good amount of color. You're not sacrificing anything for this to be a vegan product and it does last a good long time during the day. 
So I would love to hear from you guys if you got this in your Ipsy subscription. Uh, they say that it flatters all skin tones. Does it flatter your skin tone? Is this something you're reaching for? Because I do find myself reaching for this um, every day that I've had it so far, which for me is a big deal because I do have a number of other products there and I'm testing things all the time. And sometimes I will test something and just use it for long enough to form an opinion. But for this one, I keep reaching for it. And in fact, I have traveled with this over the last couple of the weeks as the only blush that I brought with me. If you enjoy this review, please give me a thumbs up. If you have not yet subscribed to me but would like to do so, you can click on my face. I'll make it pop up right here. <laughs> and if you want to watch one of my old videos, I will make it pop up right here. And I will see you guys in my next video. Have a great day. Bye!